Hello. Are you wondering about the calculation required to be carried out in order to ensure the safety of the cargo when it is being transported by sea? What is sea fastening? Sea fastening ensures that cargo remains secure and stable during sea transportation. It prevents shifting, sliding, or toppling of cargo, reducing the risk of damage or loss during transit. Properly fastened cargo enhances the overall safety of the barge, its crew, and the environment. Unsecured cargo can pose significant hazards, including the risk of accidents, injuries, and even maritime disasters. The purpose of this video is to teach you on how to perform the manual calculation for sea fastening, often known as securing the cargo on a barge while it is being transported by sea. Below are the sample pictures showing the marine transportation of cargo. The sea fastening process is depending upon the weight and dimensions of the cargo. Additionally, the specific location where the cargo to be transported. In this example, we will utilize a 230 feet barge for transporting the cargo by sea. The dimensions of the barge are shown in the slide. Let's assume that the cargo position on the deck of the barge is not aligned with the center line of the barge. The cargo location is 1.5 meters in both the transverse and longitudinal directions from barge center line. The distance between the cargo center of gravity and the center line of the barge is 4.5 meters in height. The cargo has a length of 10 meters, a width of 4.5 meters, and a height of 5.0 meters. Cargo weight is 200 ton. These are the motion criteria that we will utilize in our calculation. This guideline for marine transportations by Noble Denton. Motion criteria for sea transportation refer to the parameters and standards used to evaluate the motion characteristics of vessels and offshore structures in various sea conditions. These criteria help ensure the safety, comfort, and operational efficiency of maritime operations. Pitch Pitch is the rotational motion about the longitudinal axis of a vessel or structure, causing the bow and stern to alternately rise and fall. Roll Roll is the rotational motion about the transverse axis of a vessel or structure, causing it to sway from side to side. Eve. Eve refers to the vertical motion of a vessel or offshore structure in response to waves. Once we have gathered all the necessary data, we can proceed to compute the forces or acceleration experienced by the cargo during sea transportation. By understanding these forces, we can determine the precise sea fastening measures needed to securely hold the cargo in place during transportation. Please take a note of this formula, and have your calculator ready so that you can follow along with my calculations. Calculate the roll in vertical and transverse direction. Please follow the formula as shown in the slide. For easy calculation, I create spreadsheet for these C fastening. For now let us do this manual calculation. Now, calculate the pitch in vertical and transverse direction. Next, 
calculate the dynamic roll in vertical and transverse direction. Next, calculate the dynamic pitch in vertical and transverse direction. Next, calculate the heave roll in vertical and horizontal direction. Next, calculate the heave pitch in vertical and horizontal direction. It is important to also take into account the impact of wind force on your cargo during transportation. The contact area of the wind on your cargo depends on the dimensions and shape of your cargo. In order to simplify the process of in this computation, I made the assumption that the shape of the cargo is rectangular. Once you calculate the area of the load in both the transverse and longitudinal directions, let us determine the forces in each direction by applying the formula provided in the slide. Now, let us combine all the forces at roll vertical and transverse direction. Next, combine all the forces at pitch vertical and transverse direction. Let's convert this forces into acceleration. Please follow the formula as shown. After determining the forces acting in each direction, we may proceed to determine the quantity of lashings needed on each side of the load. In part 2 of this video, I will teach the process of calculating the necessary number of lashings and capacity to securely fasten the cargo onto the barge for sea transportation.